Amazonian people. And thank, thank you. you in a big way for having me on your show today. Uh, Chris, uh, before I dive into what you're calling black lakeism, let me just uh, throw a few words on the issue that we just discussed, which is on the issue of the lockdown. I think Ambazonia is not a church, uh, Chris. I like to laugh when I think about it. Someone thinks that Ambazonia is a church where he can manage it like a church, run it like the head of the church decides what should happen. The answer is no. There are also a group of people who think that Ambazonia is a full house. They wake up in the morning and they decide anything to say. This issue of Sako, or whatever he calls himself, I think he's a clown. Uh, I don't want to belabor the point that uh, on what the Constitution says, but we all know that Sako is a clown, dead and alive. We, we have an Ambazonia dead and alive who's a clown. The, the first one is Sako. Because he definitely knows that what he's doing is raining chaos and disorder. And because the people in Ground Zero are frustrated, they are tired, and they need, they need hope, he is doing this. And because more people are falling into this trap, that's why we are getting a lot of people who are backsliding. We are getting a lot of black legs. We are getting people who are getting frustrated with the revolution because they're looking ahead and they're not finding a leadership that's able to tell them what they are supposed to do because what the likes of Sako and the group is doing is they're brainwashing a lot of people around. So, Chris, to, to go back to your question and what you are asking is, what can we do? The big, the, this, is, this is the question. We need to start going back to our counties, counties by counties and looking at the counties and re-evaluating how our counties are built up. And we'll be able to fish out those people who are there. The, the, the big thing is we have our elites who've gone down to La, La Republic. They've all taken the money. They've also been brainwashed. And then they'll come back with the money. They use their CPDM cultism or whatever they call them. And then they brainwash people. And you find anybody who is CPDM within the community, it's a black leg. And these people are paid on daily basis to call our people by name, to pinpoint our boys, to, to smear people, you know, to radicalize people in a, in a negative direction. So these are some of the big, big issues that are on, on ground zero. And I think, Chris, that for us to be able to kill this issue of black legs, get people back focused, is that we need to go back to the counties, rebuild the counties on ground zero, let and then identify people with infiltrators, I mean, uh, strangers, because... Once you see someone in your community that you don't recognize, this I bet you, either he's trying to get information or either he's trying to get somebody smart or he's trying to pinpoint a boy or he's trying to get some information out there. So this is a very, very, very big issue. But then at the same time, it's also very difficult because on Grand Zero, precisely on the Northern Zone, we have um, the legs of Atango boys. And they are doing a very dangerous job over there, Chris, you know that. Right. And they go around they commit crimes in the name of Ambazonia, and they try to, to paint the revolution as black as much as they can do this. And so this is setting in a lot of chaos over there. I think your management needs to sit back and don't only put this issue over social media for us to look at it and ask ourselves, what do we do? They need to be a big strategy because everyone is coming into the fray. There are a lot of people in the impact zone. Now you ask yourself what role they are playing, you will not be able to get through. So Chris, that's my look at it for uh, at that for now. I might have to chip in one or two things, but I think that we need to repeal our counties and refocus our people that we work with. Because down there on ground zero, everybody pretends to work with us and there's nobody working with us precisely. The boys are there doing their thing and there are people within the communities who are supposed to support the boys, but they are not. And they've turned into black legs. So what do we do? So we need to build back the counties, go back to local government areas and talk to people and rebuild confidence, build hope, but you know uh, that get the women to support about us. Black legs, we are not limited to these boys uh, running away from uh, the camps and uh, joining the DDROs or uh, giving a lot of public to Cameroon information. You also have this elite. They pose a yes. big threat all these so-called cultural and development leaders that constitute